This is your dorm. Please quickly prepare for the ceremony. Can we teleport home like super quick and tell Lila about this? I am afraid that's against the rules. Contestants may only wield one type of pockite. So... Maybe I should keep the green instead of purple. You're here because of tiny power. Just because a purple pockite wielder has never won doesn't mean that it's not good. Oh! Hurry, everyone! It's starting! Hi. No spectators at the announcer pod. Oh, this is Shani Smith. She'll be singing the anthem after the contestant introductions. Hi. Nice to meet you, Time. It's nice to be met. Now, sit here and please respect the microphone. Welcome to the Sparkle Comp Tournament! Over the next few days, five contestants will compete to see who will replace our wonderful protector, Tarek. In each event, the competitor who finishes first gets the most points. Woohoo! The last finisher gets the least points. Wah, wah. Whoever has the most points will be protector of Sparkle Cove. Now, it's time to meet the competitors. I am Rahim. I was born deaf. And with my red communication pockets, I can understand and communicate in any language with any creature. I speak to these animals in their languages and give them instructions to complete a task. Translate bird, squirrel, and porcupine. Oh. Well done, Rahim. Uh, hi. Blue. Orange pocket. Animal transformation. Go tiger! Go king crab! Go griffin! I'm Jake. I have blue pocket, so protecting is my thing. Go shields! Go shields! I'm Gilda, daughter of Protector Tarek. I plan to make my dad proud and become the next protector. With my gold pocket, I can freeze and reverse time. Time power, freeze. Time power, rewind. And now, Polly. Oh, hi, hi. Uh, um, I'm Polly Pocket. I uh, have purple pocket. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tiny power. Whoa. Where'd she go? What just happened? Go big! Uh, go Bluebird! The protector may need to quickly transport a load of Popeye! Tiny power! Tiny power, Wagon and Popeye! Thanks, Polly. What, what does she think she's doing? Helping the competition? Time power, freeze! What? My shoes! My wagon! My belt full of sand! Oh, oh, no. Bad form! Where's the umpire? Penalty! The protector must use their defensive skills to protect the pockite and sparkle go! Hmm, I'm getting the feeling that being protector isn't much fun. Sounds like way too much work. And it's ten years as protector? If Polly wins, will we even get to see her for the holidays? Don't let those bubbles touch you or the Pockeye! Go Shields! Time power, freeze! Tiny power! Oh no! Oh, no. Polly's, Polly's the first, first one hit! And the first one out! Are you copying me? Great minds think alike. And at the end of the first day, Gilda tops the leaderboard! And Polly's last. But it isn't over yet. <sighs> My pounding heart wishes it were. Join us tomorrow to see who will be named Sparkle Comb Protector! Today was harder than helping a bear with his dental hygiene. You did your best, and there's still a chance you could win tomorrow. Oh, I know what'll cheer you up. Checking out the library for more info on Prudence. <gasps> yeah! Can we plumb? 
Hmm. Well, you really should be resting up for tomorrow's events, but it's not against the rules. This way. Have fun! I need to see if the copy of Sea Biscuits and More has been returned to the crew. Prudence, where are... Founder! Here's a book about past pockite holders. That was fast. Research is kind of my thing. Ooh, Sparkle Cove history. This could help me with the song lyrics for the anthem. Prudence Pocket adventured through the worlds and collected pockite of every color. Wow. Wonder if she's in any of these other books. Polly! Ah! Oh, ah! Ghost <laughs> Sorry I startled you. What you doing here? Besides trying to scare me. <laughs> I was looking up Prudence Pocket. She was the first one in my family to discover Pockite many generations ago. She's my hero. Now where are those monkeys? Listen, do you hear that? Down there! I've got an idea! But we'll need blue pockeye power. Go shield! <laughs> I never thought of hand gliding while tiny. I never really thought of doing anything while tiny. Holly and Jake to the rescue! Go big! You go first. You deserve it for not letting me plummet off to my doom. What are friends for? <laughs> <laughs> In the final round, Polly comes in first, giving her 500 points. Jake is in second with 400 points. Lou is in third, Raheem fourth, and in a surprising upset, Gilda is last. Sometimes shortcuts are filled with mud and end up taking a lot longer than expected. It could happen to anyone. That means it's... It's a five-way tie! Way to steal my thunder during the biggest announcement of my career. Like Shawnee Smith said, it's a five-way tie. No way. Ugh. No, no, no. Uh, perhaps if you hadn't taken the time to send that reverse avalanche. Uh, nothing, nothing. For the first time in tournament history, we have a tie at the end of, well, uh, what was supposed to be the final round. If they hadn't cheated by working together, there's no way they could finish first. There's no rule against cooperating. Nobody's ever tried before. Tomorrow, we'll be hosting a tie-breaking scavenger hunt to decide our new Sparkle Cone Protector. What a rush. Good luck, everyone. Good luck. Thanks, Polly. That includes you. Good luck. Luck? Ha! Don't need it. I've lived here for ten years. No scavenger hunt can stump me. Ah, ignore her. You and Jake were onto something. I bet there are lots of ways to make pockets work together. Dad, can you believe it's a tie? Dad! Hmm. Sorry, sweetheart. Oh. Huh, I wonder if Tarek's excited to finish his term. He's always so busy protecting everyone. Now he'll get to relax, go home, spend time with Gilda, watch some movies, see his friends again. Wait, the protector doesn't get to hang out with their friends? Plum, I need to see Polly. Yeah, I can't let you go into the competitor's only area, not even if the round is over. Now enjoy the Sparkle Cove hospitality at tonight's ball. This pockite is fading. Plus, I have a souffle in the oven. No, wait! How do I get out of here? Tiny power always got me out of any pickle, jam, or jelly I got into. My friends need their heart gems, and I'm gonna make sure they get them. Tiny power hearts! But how will we escape? That sounds like a draft. There must be a crack in the wall behind the desk. Ha! Tiny power death! Jellyfish! Tiny power! So, on my second birthday, I had rainbow sprinkle cake, a sparkle cove tradition. That's more than enough to inspire my lyrics, but I am getting a little worried about Polly. 
I'm worried about all of them. Only a few minutes left and not a single competitor has made it to the finish line. And with our cameras down, who knows where they are? Thank goodness that ordeal is over. My claustrophobia could not handle another second stuck in there. Go big! Stinging jellyfish! Back into the small sealed up room! Quack! Please don't sting us! You might not know this, but you just saved us, so you stinging us would be really ironic! Your glow let us out! What a useful kind of see-through body you have! <laughs> you mean we should go that way? Thank you! You are the most helpful jellyfish I've ever met! You're here! Thank goodness! Are you okay? Hardly. I had four hearts, but they vanished. Have I got news for you? Go big! You found them! Polly, you are incredible! Gilda had them stashed in a secret cavern. Since our clues led us here, all of our final hearts must be in this cave somewhere. Maybe one of us can still win this thing. We have to get to the finish line before time's up or Gilda will win by default. It's okay. Hey there, Jelly. Um, can you speak jellyfish, Polly? She understands me, but I can't understand her. Hmm. The flashing and buzzing. It must be a type of language. Translate jellyfish. She says, thank you for the compliments. She wants to help us. You're welcome. Do you know where we can find hearts like these? She says to follow her. This way! Oh, what? Look at that! I'm afraid Polly's analysis is correct. Oh, this is quite dire! Oh, my glitter! Dangerous. What happened? Where's Polly? Try turning it off and then on again. There's no off button. Maybe a good kerpow kick. Kerpow! Our island! Oh What's going on? Everyone needs to get away from the island. I wanted to protect Sparkle Cove. And instead, I've destroyed it! Gilda, your father! He's trying to put the island back together! Time power, rewind island! <laughs> Time power, rewind! <laughs> Dad! He's running out of Pokai power! I have to get to him! Go to... <laughs> oh, please work! Time power, three! Thank you, my jewel. You saved me. This is all my fault. I shouldn't have done any of this. No. But you know the greatest gift of Golden Parkite? You have a chance to learn from your mistakes and try again. Nugget, get Dad to safety. I have to fix this. No! I am the protector. I have to stay! First, we have to get everyone on the island, uh, cuddlies, animals, and people, to the boat. Then we can figure out how to put the island back together. Go Eagle! I can carry a few. Or you could carry a lot if Polly shrinks them fast. Yes! Great idea! This is the biggest catastrophe in Sparkle Cove history! Plum, could you fly Raheem and me up to Shawnee? Since this isn't part of the competition, I'm very glad to help. Tiny power! Shawnee, we have a plan. Attention! Please get to the beach where Polly will shrink you and you'll be flown to the safety of the Narwhal Adventurer Boat. Translate, frog! Translate, bed! Translate, slump! Go shields! Tiny power! Tiny power! Tiny power! Tiny power! Go big! Get back! Go, Polly! Another tie! What are we supposed to do?
supposed to do? Have another tiebreaker! Actually, Tyne, we decided on something better. We want to share the power. Instead of one protector, we will all be the Sparkle Cove Council. The responsibilities will be divided among the five of us. Thank you for giving me a second chance. I promise to do my best as part of the council. You were incredible, Polly. And creating a whole new form of government? Wow! Now you have ten years to do everything, but what's up first on the Protector agenda? I love the idea of a council, but I don't really want to be on it. Yeah. Aww, but you're the one who helped us all work together. And you love Parkite. I do. But the reason I love it so much is because it lets me have amazing adventures with my friends and family. Oh, that's our Polly. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. <laughs> Being on the Sparkle Cove Council is an honor, but for me, it would mean missing out on adventures with the people I love. I think that makes sense, but who will represent the purple Pockite? I have the perfect candidate. I nominate Plum the Seahorse to take my place. He knows everything about Sparkle Cove and Pockite. And you can trust him to uphold any rules you make. <laughs> Shine my shells and flip my fins. I will endeavor to be worthy of the position. Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! I love it! The Sparkle Cove tournament resulted in the establishment of a shiny new Sparkle Cove Council. What will this mean for the Sparkle Cove tournament? Will your favorite unicorn be out of a job? Only time will tell in this exciting new chapter of Parkite history. I hereby pass on my responsibilities as protector to the new Sparkle Cove Council. Hooray! <laughs> Incredible work today, Gilda. Thanks! Can you believe I'm on the council? Of course I can. But what makes me most proud is that you learned from your mistakes and did everything in your power to make it right. Really? Yes, my jewel. Oh, Gilda. I'm sorry I've been too busy to see what an amazing young woman you have become. Hmm. How will these new duties work out with so many council members? We will share the responsibilities. Gilda will always be at Sparkle Cove to keep an eye on things. And the rest of us will come to Sparkle Cove whenever we're needed. Enough talking. Our first official Sparkle Cove council action is to get our party on. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, where are you all from? We're humans from the human world. And we came here to get my sock for my friend Lila's fashion show, which is starting soon. So, if I could just have that sock back. Sorry, no. This is my sock. Actually, that's my sock. See, I have the other one right here. But I found this beauty all by myself earlier today. It's gonna be my contribution to Socktoberfest. It's a long-held tradition where dust bunnies contribute their most prized finds from across the laundry realms to the top of Mount Laundry. I searched for weeks for the perfect item. I don't know what I'd do if I had to give it up. Probably cry loudly. <laughs> oh, don't cry, Destiny. I know you care a lot about this sock, but I also need it to complete my outfit for Lila's fashion show. Here, we'll help you find a different, even better sock for Socktoberfest. Nope, sorry, not colorful enough. Synthetic fabric? Are you kidding? Great design, but ankle socks? That's not nearly enough sock. Uh, how about an alien toe sock with 11 toes? <laughs> no. Sorry, but none of the socks you found are as perfect as the one I found. Why don't you take that alien sock? Because that's not my sock that Lila picked for my outfit. Destiny, honey bunny, come show me and dad your perfect find. Be right there. Gotta help my friend find a new sock. Oh, okay, let's keep looking. These are supposed to be the best of the best socks up here. Ooh, tiny power. Be careful! This mountain's getting really wild! 
wobbly from all the socks we pulled. We shouldn't be up here. Don't worry, we'll find a good new sock soon. Oh, I've looked at 937 socks today. Who knew there were so many shapes and sizes? And smells. I think I found Fred the Leprechaun's gym socks. Blech. Hey, do you all feel something? Sock saved me from that ball of laundry that was careening out of control and is heading straight for the town! Huh. What's better than one laser pointer? <gasps> a lot of laser pointers! Let's have a laser pointer disco dance party! Our party awaits! <laughs> as much as I love a melody dance party, I'm not sure this is working for Captain Collie Lobbles. Oh, I guess there is such a thing as too many lasers. Oh, you look tired. Want to take a nap? Well, I... Don't curl up and get cozy just yet. I know the perfect place for a cat nap. <laughs> He finally seems relaxed. Though I'm not sure how much we needed these. <laughs> oh no! Only 30 minutes before the appointment at the vet! <laughs> uh. There still might be something we can do. Nick just texted me that he and Bella are at the new pet cafe. Let's take Captain Collywobbles there. Maybe Snacks will help him. I don't know. Come on! It's on the way to Captain Collywobbles' appointment. We'll be in and out in two swishes of a cat's tail. Go big! <laughs> <sighs> okay. Over here! Hi, Nick. Hi, Bella and Apple. Oh, and you must be Nick's new frog, Sally. While I'm at school, Sally keeps an eye out for supernatural occurrences. But I'm not sure how much watching she actually does. Oh, we should ask her now that Shawnee's got the red pockite. Could we really do that? Please, Shawnee, please, 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 please. Oh, can we talk with Apple too, please? Okay, I guess we have some time before the appointment. Translate cat, dog, and frog. <clears throat> um, so, Sally, seen anything lately? Seen what? <sighs> Once again, not expecting her to sound like that. Are you taking riveting lessons? Show me your tongue! Uh... <laughs> My turn! <laughs> Apple? Uh... What's on your mind, little guy? Bella, you can speak dog. I've been trying to teach you forever. That voice makes sense. <laughs> Haven't seen much yet, though I did hear some strange noises the other day. Ooh. <laughs> Brain freeze! Okay, let her rip. That's our best yet. That's one smooth smoothie. Please dispense drink. Uh, is your computer thirsty? It's our alert system. Someone ordered our smoothie from outside. Seriously? Where's the smoothie I ordered? This machine's brand new and it's already broken. Oh no, it's our mind, the mall manager. Hello, Littleton Recycling Center. I've got a machine I need removed. They the double. No, triple check. We've got the pipes clear. We need to serve hot cocoa. Stat, hop to it. Oh no! If the vending machine gets recycled, then we'll have served our last drink. We can't let that happen. Good thing we finished our smoothie just in the nick of time, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know about that wordplay, or our smoothie. Uh, maybe we should just stick to something tried and true instead. The smoothie's still new. What if it's not ready? Only one way to find out. Bon Appetit! This is my favorite part. No new beverages! You three broke the cacao code again? After them! Keep going! Oh no! A raspberry's still stuck! Our sweet little town! This one, right here. If only we could clear the pipe! Aha! Tiny power! Machine quake! Whoa! Whoa! There you are, you rascally raspberry! Tiny power raspberry! Go big surfboard! What a great twist on the tropical drink umbrella. This is delicious! Ah, uh, this machine is staying right here. And you have to try this. out of clues. Oh, we've hit a dead end. Translate peaches. Hmm, she seems to be excited about a kerpow squirrel? We don't have time for squirrels, peaches. We need to think through this like detectives. You know, it was peaches' idea to talk to the birds. And she seemed to know we were chasing the wrong bunny bud, even when I didn't. And doesn't Molly McMystery solve people mysteries? This is a pet mystery. Hmm, okay, let's try it your way this time, Peaches. Tiny power! Lead the way, Peaches! <laughs> One's Bonita likes at home. The carrot cake, the squirrel's carrot. <gasps> That's it! That's what you've been smelling, huh, Peaches? <laughs> Translate, Peaches. <laughs> Dig and fetch, Bonita and Apple. That's what she meant? Good job, Peaches. Now let's go down the rabbit hole. Bonita is a total glam goddess. It's hard to imagine her digging through the dirt like this. Eh, Apple would totally be down here. Look! Apple's toy! Oh, we gotta be close! <gasps> we need a shiny fur! <gasps> what if she's stuck down here without a hairbrush? We're on the right track! And speaking of tracks... <gasps> there are some right here! <gasps> oh. <gasps> I can't see anything. Oh, Lila, can you transform into a flashlight? Do I look like I come with batteries included? Living beings only, please. Are you sure? What if we get lost? I trust Peach's instincts. Let's see things through her way. <laughs> 